Welcome to the Notion beginner tutorial. Here's the timestamps for each topic, so feel free to skip to any part of the video if you think you already know everything about a specific topic. Before we begin though, your dark mode setting can be found by going to the settings in your sidebar and then under my notifications, you'll find the option to switch between light and dark mode. All of your pages live on the left hand side of your Notion workspace, where you can lock the sidebar by clicking the toggle at the top. To create a new page, simply go into your sidebar and and click on new page at the bottom. Now you'll have the option to choose between different databases or create an empty page. For now we'll be using an empty page so either click on empty page, press enter or click in the open text block. Let's give our new page a title and now you can begin adding content to your page. Pressing forward slash will give you a list of all the content blocks you can use inside of your Notion page. Now let's add an icon and cover to our new page. Adding an icon gives you three customizable options. You can either choose one of the emojis, you can upload your own image, for example a company logo, or you can add icons through a link. Click on the icon you want and the link will automatically copy to your clipboard where you can paste it under the link option. I will leave links to three Notion icon websites I use in the description below. Clicking on add cover will randomly generate a cover image. When you click on change cover you'll see four options. You can select one of Notion's covers in their gallery, you can upload your own, you can paste a link from a website and you can also select a cover from the stock free photo website Unsplash. Note that your cover will change based on your window size. Notion recommends covers be at least 1500 pixels wide if you are planning on creating your own. Notion's quick find option allows you to quickly find the page you are looking for. In your sidebar, click on the quick find option or press the shortcut Ctrl and P. Once you start typing you will see results and you can navigate these results by using the arrow keys or simply just your mouse. You can also add filters to your search and also sort the pages. Use the add symbol if you want to use the mentions and reminders feature. You can mention a page, you can mention a colleague, you can mention a timestamp, you can also mention a reminder for today or tomorrow or whatever the case may be. Any reminders you set will be sent to your all updates area. Pressing the forward slash button gives you a wide range of content blocks you can use. You have heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, a to-do list, a toggle, a bullet list, a numbered list, a quote, a divider and a callout box. Amongst these basic blocks is a simple table. You can create a table, add columns and rows, you can resize it, you can fit the table to the page which will resize it according to your text and window size. And you can freely drag the columns and rows around using the drag button at the side. Add a table header row or a header column. The table accepts rich text editing so you can make your text bold, change the color, mention other pages and also add links. Instead of starting from a blank canvas you can make use of Notion templates. Templates is a way to understand everything you can do in Notion and to give you ideas on ways to improve your Notion workspace. You can get access to a wide range of Notion templates created by Notion and the Notion community by just clicking on browse more templates. Use these templates to find ideas and inspiration for any new pages and workflows you can create inside of Notion. There will also be a link in the description and the card above that will take you to a playlist containing all of my Notion templates. If this video has helped you in any way, I'd appreciate you leaving a like and subscribing for more Notion tutorials, tips and templates. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.